All right, it's back to track and field to wind down the night. And first off, we go to the men's track and field, Mr. Stephen Roberts. Give a big round of applause for Stephen. He was part of a very, very talented group of student athletes from Barbados. He was a top performer for the race. He started in 1990. He was part of back-to-back -back Murray State Ohio Valley Conference track and field championship teams in 91 and 92 and the OVC indoor title. He still owns three Murray State records, including the indoor 800-meter and mile relay and the outdoor 1600-meter relay. Roberts is a four-time Ohio Valley Conference champion. Roberts competed for Barbados in the 1992 Olympics game in Barcelona, Spain as part of the 4x400 relay team and in the 800-meter event. Once again, a big round of applause for Mr. Stephen Roberts. And keep it going because introducing Mr. Roberts tonight is his former coach. Big round of applause for Coach Stan Naruski. This is going to be brief. Dave told me I could, he was only going to pay me for three minutes. But Dave, where are you? I'm going to give you 15 for free. He just fainted. There's a story behind that. Um, we kind of got this in different order because I've uh, got a great recommendation on this guy named Stephen Roberts. It was always, there's this guy in Barbados, or there's this guy in Chicago, or there's this guy in Los Angeles. But they said, there's this guy in Barbados named Roberts, coach. I know him. He's a good person. He's a good man. His times aren't what you're looking for, but trust me, he's good. So rather than bore you with times, figure this out. He took 12 seconds off his 800-meter time at Murray State. He took three and a half seconds off of his 400 meter time at Murray State. Um, pretty good deal. You know, when you, when you start running, run 146 and 45s, it's, uh, you're, in, you're in a different uh, stratosphere there. Uh, quick story about him. Uh, well, no, I should do this before I do that. He wasn't just successful in school and on the track. He's a very successful international businessman, making a difference every day, just like he did here. And uh, uh, he's a good, solid person. If you're around him five minutes, you walk away and you go, you know, I, I just feel good being around that guy. In fact, both of the track inductees are that way. Quick story, we, were, we had two big rivals. One was an SEC team, believe it or not, and the other was Georgia Tech um, in, in the 4x4. Four four. And um, the coach of this SEC team, and I won't mention Coach Rosen's name, former Olympic coach, um, <laughs> said some disparaging things to us. You know how somebody would be nice to you and smile and they just might as well spit on you? He kind of did that to the whole team. And uh, I changed, I don't know why I did this. There was a reason, well, there was a reason, we won't mention it. Changed the, uh, the order of our relay and we put Steven on the end. I mean, here's a half miler going against uh, probably their best 400 meter guy, nationally ranked guy at a Power Five conference school. And um, Steven just pretty much lit him up and smoked him like a cheap cigar. It was great. <laughs> and Coach Rosen was cussing his guy. I mean, I never did that. You know, but he just berating this guy and his manager's trying to talk to him and he's berating the guy and he's trying to talk to him. Finally, the kid shows him two stopwatches and Stephen had just run 45 seconds on a relay indoors at Middle Tennessee State. Mel Rosen shut up and walked away and we felt good about it. <laughs> Stephen, that's a great memory. Stephen was a part of my great memories here as a coach and my family's great memories. Not a lot of time passes between us talking about him and that relay team and, and how that lifted the program, the men's team up and, and made a difference, made a big difference. He was a quality person. Uh, he was among the first at practice. Uh, he was among the last to leave for practice. It was always something extra. It was always something different. He manned up every day. And a unique uh, quality about everybody on the team from Barbados at that time, you talked about Snow. Who was it talked about Snow? They came to Murray through New York, saw relatives in New York City, bought winter clothing, and then came to Murray. And somebody, they told me later, somebody in New York, a family member says, shut up about the cold. They don't want to hear it. 
and never a peep out of anybody from Barbados on that team about the snow and the wind and the cold, and we'd be out training in it, never. They, every one of them manned up. But Stephen Roberts, one of the finest people I know, and one of the great representatives of this university, Stephen Roberts, come on up, please. First of all, let me say good night to everybody here. And I have to say a special good night to David Winder. Me and David have been speaking for about two months now. And he will always message me. If, if I sent a message within 15 minutes, he was responding, except for last night. I think I caught David last night by surprise. Um, I came in last night from Germany, long flight, tiring. But I think David had several trips picking up some of the other guys in the morning, so we kind of had a little mix-up. But despite everything, I am happy to be here, and it's all thanks to David Winder and the members of the Hall of Fame committee. So let me say thank you very much before I start. I would love to thank my parents, most of all, I never knew I was going to be an athlete. I played volleyball for my high school, throughout my high school career, and the year before graduating, the high school coach came and asked me if I would run for the school. I was like, but I know nothing about athletics. He said, but you're a good volleyball player, you must be a good athlete. I said, all right, I'll try it out. Tried it out, broke all the local school records, and by some way, I ended up at trials for Barbados. So this all happened fast. Within two years, I was getting a call from Ronald Boyce over there, who is also a member of my old high school and was an assistant coach at Murray State at the time. And he said, um, we would love you to come to Murray State. And just one little conversation with, with Stan Naruski. Now that, that was the end of it. I knew I was coming to Murray State. I didn't know where it was, because the furthest I went from Barbados was 100 miles to St. Vincent, which is where my parents are from. So I was like, okay, I'm coming. But the shocking thing was arriving in Murray State in the middle of winter. And, and when I stepped off of that plane, I felt like I would get right back on and go back home. But as, as Stan said, we never complained. I remember the days where we came out and the trap was full of snow. And Stan would get the shovel and shovel off a, a couple track um, lanes, and that's where we would practice. I have to thank Stan a lot for what I've achieved and where I am today. I'll tell you one of my most me biggest memories while I was at Murray State. I remember a time we were doing six, four hundred repeats. Carl Dillard and I. I'll tell you a story about Carl Dillard because I owe him a big thanks as well. That was my main competition at Murray State. And we used to compete everything we did. And coach, I think Coach wanted us to run the random times of I think 63 or 65. It was an easy day. But knowing Carl and I competing all the time, we were running these 450 something. And, the, and Coach would just stand up and watch us run them out, you know. And if anybody knows about running 400s, six 400s are no easy feat. <laughs> so we were finished. And coach, coach said, um, you think y'all are done? But y'all didn't run the times I asked. So we're going to do it all over again. I remember that was the day that I almost brought up everything I ate in the morning. <laughs> and that taught me discipline. And today, I must say that a lot of people ask me, when do you find time to sleep? Because I do a lot of things. Um, run a few businesses, travel quite regular because I live between England and Germany and then I still do a lot of stuff in Barbados as well, so quite busy. And I have to say thank you to Coach for teaching me discipline because coming from Barbados and a boys' school, I was very much a rebel, like a lot of fighting, but Coach found a way to tame me. And I have taken that throughout my life. So I thank you, Coach, very much for everything you have done for us. 
You know, I remember coach was like a father to us. I wrote notes, but it don't make any sense. Because I would definitely go over the five minutes that I haven't given. <laughs> Ron voice. Would you stand for me, Ron? This guy was like a big brother, an uncle, whatever you want to call him. He, he was the reason why Murray State had such a fantastic 4x4 team made up of three Barbadians. Because he was our main recruiter. And he was Stan's second-hand man. You know, the wing man. Um, so I have to thank you, Rowan, for getting me here and changing my life. And when I say changing my life, if you knew what, where I came from, you would know that where I am today is a big, big, big change. Anybody here ever heard about a shallow house before? Okay. But let me explain. A shallow house is a house that is built on rocks. So there's no solid foundation. So when you see a hurricane in the Caribbean, these are the houses that are blown away. This is one of the houses that I grew up in. Now, today I own a construction company and I don't have to build a shallow house anymore. I can actually build proper homes for my family members and everybody around me. So to be where I am today, I am very thankful to God, first of all, to my coaches, my family, and to Murray State. Murray State made a big, big, big change in my life. Um, I don't want to keep everybody. Um, I just want and hope that tonight I can share this with all the other inductees. And I know you guys must be feeling just as proud as I am. Um, my kids ask me, Dad, are you getting old? <laughs> I say, why? They say, because I don't hear about people getting inducted into the Hall of Fame at your age. So I'm here tonight to say I'm very proud, shocked. I thought I would make it one day, but not so soon. So thank you guys, the committee most of all for choosing me and selecting me, and I will continue to carry the racist flag proudly. Thank you.